Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. I feel like Donny Hathaway when he sung the song, A Song For You. Except for only the first line I can relate to. Because I've been so many places in my life and time. Uh, all the places I've been to, this place here, uh, which is Townsend, Tennessee, is by far the worst place I've ever been. And the reason why is because, well, first of all, I was told I was going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And this is no way, shape, form, or fashion Gatlinburg, Tennessee. This is Townsend, Tennessee. This is not like Birmingham, Hoover, uh, and all those cities that they call Birmingham if all of else fails. This is Townsend, Tennessee, and it can only be Townsend, Tennessee, not Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg is 20 plus miles away. And this right here is outside of civilization. When I first got here last night, I got to a road that led to the resort that these people were staying at. And it is the smallest, windiest road I've come across. I've been to Jasper, Georgia. Jasper, Georgia is a cakewalk compared to this. I get up there and wind around this road until I get to the main road for the resort and that road turns smaller. <laughs> it's so small two bikes can't pass each other. Matter of fact it's so small if you try to roll two matchbox cars past each other I don't think they would fit. And so the guy out here looks at me and asks me, do you think you can go down there? Well, it's go up there because it was up here. And I, I said, uh, I don't know. Because see, in these type of situations, you have to play dumb. Because if you say yes, and then you go up there and something happens, and they'll be looking at you saying, well, you said you could. So you have to play dumb sometimes. It's for your own safety. And so... I stop and he decides he wants to make a phone call and the lady says well yes charter buses come up all the time you should be okay uh, so after she said we would be okay we proceed on up and get to the top and the main office sitting smack dab in the middle of the road and it's, it was sort of impossible to get around it, but I did it with two inches to spare on each side of the vehicle. And that was making a turn, not going straight. Two inches on each side, making a turn. So I slowly walked it around and finally got it around. I popped the brakes and this woman comes running out there looking dumb as I don't know what. And she says, I don't think I ever had a bus this long come up here. Well, really, ma'am, we called you and you said charter buses come up here all the time. But then when you see me, you say you don't think you had a bus this long come up. That's money talking. That's all it was. This woman knew she had 40 plus people coming up that hill. She didn't care how they got up there. As long as they got there and gave her her money. Money talked. That's all she heard was cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. When, when they got there, she saw dollar signs. I could see it in her eyes. And so, after everybody unloaded, that was the easy part. The hard part was me trying to get back down there and get to my hotel, which was 20 miles away in Alcoa, Tennessee. So, you already know what that means. If I'm 20 miles away from them, that means I'm going to have to wake up early extra extra early to get back and pick them up and so I worked my way back down well first of all not even getting down the guy told me don't worry about coming back up we'll walk down yeah, and this morning they did that but on my way back down I looked the exit is a straight drop 
straight drop down like on a roller coaster where you get up to the top of the hill and you get right there and it goes foo that's what it was now anybody with common sense knows a bus cannot do that if I would have tried that I would have been sent up there on the top like a seesaw uh, looking stupid and so I just sat there and a woman came up to me and she was like uh, well I wouldn't advise you to go down that way no shiitake mushroom Sherlock uh, she told me to turn around and go back the way I came out the do not enter uh, sign uh, which was the entrance and going back is a challenge if you meet somebody coming up and while you're trying to go down but I went down it anyway prayed the brakes wouldn't go I made it to the bottom and went on about my business wind back down to Alcoa Tennessee to get to my hotel room and I get to the hotel room this one won't ask for everything south of the sun and I said, ma'am, I'm tired. The, the guy said the room was paid for. She wanted his credit card and all this to verify and all that. I said, ma'am, I'm tired. Just please just give me the room so I can go to sleep. I got to get it up and try to pick them up 20 miles away. And that's an early start for me. So I was nice about it. I wasn't mean about it. She was like, okay, well, that's okay. And so she checked me in and gave me the key, and that was all she wrote. So I got the key, and I don't have to go through that again and then that hotel said it was bus parking but I didn't see any spaces for buses there it was only uh, parking spaces for cars so I just took up six like I normally do and I went on in my room went to sleep and then I had to wake up early this morning and go back up and pick them up he told me they would be ready at 9.30 and they weren't ready at 9.30 I sat there I got there 10 minutes early and sat there waiting for them and they didn't come down the hill until close to 10 o'clock eastern time but that's all a part of being human uh, when they finally loaded up I brought them over here to this place wherever this is in Tennessee and they did a little mission work and now they're about to get ready to perform and I'm gonna kick up I was going to go down and watch and perform, but every time I walk down those steps, they run back up because they forgot something on the bus.